So let's talk about what to expect in this Super Bowl matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs. So I'm going to focus right now on the, um, the Chiefs offense versus the, um, the Eagles defense because I think that's going to be the marquee matchup. So we know Andy Reid is an 11 personnel coach, right? Meaning they like to come out in one back and one tight end. So that's 11 personnel grouping, right? So what I anticipate happening in this Super Bowl is the, the Chiefs are going to be status quo. Obviously come out of 11 personnel. But one thing is I want to know how Jonathan Gannon is going to offset that matchup because obviously this year the Chiefs really don't have that playmaker as far as under receiving outside position. So they're um, very Travis Kelsey centric. So what I anticipate, because we all know Andy Reid is allergic to running the football. He's allergic to running the football. So what I'm going to anticipate Andy Reid try to do um, offensively as far as not running the ball is use a lot of screen plays. So I anticipate some more screen plays to um, Jer Jerick McKinnon and Isaiah Potato, uh, who I call Idaho Potato. All right, so look for the running backs. I think they activated Edward Hilaire as well. So look for the running game to be a lot of quick, short passing to the running back and quick screens to the running back, right? So, and if they do run the ball, if they do come to the a situation where they do run the ball, which I know Andy Reid is allergic to, they like to run to, to my guy, their right guard to the right side. They're very right-handed as far as running the ball. So, they're going to, I anticipate them running to, when they do run the ball, it's going to go to on the right side behind number 65, Trey Smith. He's a load. He's one of the best run blocking um, guard in all of football so if they do run the ball I anticipate majority of it going into the right side behind number 65 Trey Smith so this is how I anticipate Jonathan Gannon to offset um, Andy Reid 11 personnel grouping I anticipate Jonathan Gannon and he's a majority Jonathan Gannon is a zone um, um, defensive coordinator majority of his on um, the Eagles defense their zone concept team so so I think he's gonna have a little twist in the Super Bowl I, I anticipate him going into a 21 coverage which is um, um cover two men in a sense because I do believe the Eagles got a better cornerbacks than the um, Chiefs has better receivers so I anticipate Jonathan Gannon if he's smart he will come in a 21 coverage which is um two safeties on top and let the corners play man underneath with the help of the safety so now the corners slay and bradbury could get physical with um the the, the chiefs receivers who i think the, the eagles have their strength as far as in the outside so with that said with the corners being close to the line of scrimmage and getting physical i think that would offset any of andy reed's um you know why i'm running back screens and stuff to that like that so then you'll give the um the eagles defender chance to swarm to the ball so all in all, I think defensively for the Eagles, I think they're a better matchup against the Kansas City Chiefs offense with Andy Reid because I do believe the cornerbacks could definitely offset the wide receiving core for the Kansas City Chiefs because I don't believe they have any type of threat as far as receiving core. And also, um, Andy Reid is allergic to running the ball. So I don't anticipate the Eagles have to put eight men on the box because I don't anticipate Andy Reid being dominant as far as running the ball. So all in all, I think Jonathan Gannon game plan coming to this game is going to be a two safety shell, but it's going to be 21 coverage with the corners getting physical with the receivers, which gives which makes um, Patrick Mahomes hold the ball a little bit longer, which gives time for the pass rush to come out and, and affect the game, which I think is going to be the major factor. But I, Andy Reid is a great offensive coach, so I do anticipate Andy Reid to suck the pass rushes in and dump wide receiver screens, or I mean, or tight end screens. But like I said, I believe Jonathan Gannon is going to do an outstanding job by going to a 21 coverage, which is cover two men, which will put Bradbury and Slay out there, and which will basically offset as far as any type of um, quick game or quick screen game for Andy Reid. So I anticipate the Eagles defense to dominate this game, man. I think the Eagles defensively are superior as far as uh, compared to the um, Kansas City offense.